at this baby here. This is just extraordinary. This is your Jalisco Lavender Opal Pendant. Uh, it comes with that 18-inch necklace, all amethyst beads, by the way, on the necklace. And then we also have the earrings, $10 off on the earrings, $20 off on the necklace. Only earring of the day, but I will say this, about 80 in the necklace and about 70 in the earrings, that's all we have left. The lavender and the purple colors here are breathtaking, Jay. This is the only lavender opal. It's a natural lavender opal. It comes out of uh, Jalisco uh, in Mexico. Uh, I found this about five years ago. They've since mined this deposit completely out. So whoever's got it, got it. Whoever don't have it, don't have it ever, okay? That's um, it. We got quite a bit. Uh, we only bought the really higher grades of this material that came out. Um, it's fairly, uh, like I said, is it rare? It's rare the fact that I travel the entire world, um, got the advantage miles in the stickers <laughs> in my passport to prove it. And I will tell you right now, um, you just don't see it anywhere in the world. And then we combine this with a natural. This uh, is, if everybody's wondering, this isn't uh, opal, but this is um, uh, oh. amethyst oh, that's from, so um, from Zambia. So we're heading out to Kentucky. Linda's been holding patiently for us but since the last hour, Jay. Good morning, Linda. You're live on the air here at HSN. Welcome. Good morning. Hi, Linda. How are you guys doing? We, we are do blessed. Good. I understand that you're a fan of Jay's pieces. <laughs> Most people can't handle this midnight <laughs> after midnight stuff. No, it's really great. I've been trying to get to talk to Jay for the last three or four times. Um, I saw the, what? Miss Linda? Uh -huh. Are you there? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Talk and um, to me. he was showing about the. Um, you may. Oh, you may need petrified to... forest. Oh, right. petrified what? wood. Uh -huh. We have and some of that petrified coming. wood, and you know how he was handling him and the searching his trail and all that. And, you know, he said, if you have any, let me know. I'll come and get it. I have a big uh, tree stump, and I didn't even think about it sitting out in the front doing absolutely nothing but sinking in the ground. <laughs> and I have a little piece laying here on the table. I had like three other pieces, but you know, hey, I, it would make quite a few necklaces, I would think. Where, where did you Where did you get it from, if you don't mind me asking? Uh, here in Kentucky, some guy brought it out of a field for me when they were clearing it out for plowing. Do you know how rare that is to actually yeah, find it? Yeah, it takes 100 years to make petrified wood. Oh, no, it takes anywhere from 30 to 50 million years. Oh, really? Wow. 30 to 50 right million. It is, it's right out here, it's gorgeous, it's kind of oval. Yeah, I've never, I've actually never seen it in Kentucky. Well, uh, yeah, I got one. It's very unusual. I'd love to see a picture of that. Wow, Linda, okay. you, you need to get in <laughs> touch with... Do you you know make how... me an, a set out of it and you can have it. <laughs> oh, my goodness, Linda, how exciting. Oh, that's very. That's a snapshot in history. I, I, I swear, I've never, I've never seen it come out of Kentucky. I've never wow. seen that. That's uh, really As rude. a matter of fact, it was, uh, it's in Bullock County. It's right in the county that I live in. Of course, it's not right at this spot, but it was just a few miles away. Well, you know, the, the lovely thing about what I do is you learn something new every day, but I've never seen it in Kentucky. So that I'd love to see a picture of it. That's really rare. Linda, you need to get in touch with Jay or stay in the order. Yeah, I, got a, I got a phone number, dude, on a cell phone. You can call me after 9. I'm always here. Okay. <laughs> I'm not a, but, yeah, I... Um, I was thinking, you know, surely if he can't get it from the people that's watching him, he can have mine. Oh, Linda, you are so kind. Well, Bless I your heart. I appreciate you calling. Absolutely, and I and I do understand you're a fan of Jay's pieces. We're oh, so I happy. got the uh, turquoise bead and the first one that sold out, and the uh, oh, and the garnet. Then sure. last time I got an oval east to west ring. It was the Kingman turquoise, and it does run a, a size smaller, so I'm either going to have it. Everything's kind of big. I'm thinking about having it cut down to a pinky ring. Wow, okay. Instead of having it stretched out. Oh. I didn't even want to send it back because I was afraid there wouldn't be any more. I, this makes 26 pieces I have. Oh, wow, cool. Linda. Oh, you have the most extraordinary collection then. Well, that's just the thing. You yeah. know, all of Jay's pieces, the truth is they're so incredibly rare and unique. When they're gone, they're gone. So we're so happy that you've called us, that you took a moment to share, and that you're sharing your petrified wood with Jay. Uh, do you know what you're sitting on, woman? That's amazing. Well, that's just amazing for the fact that I didn't even know that it yeah I've never seen it Could in Kentucky so that's it? that's amazing
Wow. Okay. Well, Linda, thank you for your calls. Happy holidays. So this piece here, the shades of lavender. If you're a purple girl, you're really going to love this one. Really breathtaking, soft and soothing. I love that Jay gave us the family there because you have that beautiful Jalisco um, lavender opal there. And then, by the way, we haven't even celebrated. Remember that you get essentially two pieces here because this is all genuine faceted amethyst beads, right, Jay? This is all natural Zambian amethyst. Okay. Mm. That's all can it's some of the finest am uh, amethyst in the world. And then you get that combined with that beautiful natural lavender opal. And again, I've been doing this for 35 plus years and uh, I've never in my life, the only time I've ever seen lavender opal is out of this one deposit in Jalisco. Um, I, I, about seven years ago is when I originally first saw this. It was an American miner that went down and started it all and got it. And it, they just literally, they went in with burrows and they, they, it was just a little teeny stope and they were tunneling back in there and that's how they were getting it. So when we first started buying this, when we first started getting it, there wasn't very much, maybe a hundred pounds here, 50 pounds here, hundred pounds there. I mean, you know, as they were getting it out. Um, they finally uh, got financed and they, uh, they had somebody go back in there, a miner, and they got equipment back in. They now mined this out. So the people that have this uh, raw material, this rough material, they have it. You, uh, once that's all used up, you won't see it ever, you know, again, unless they find more of it. But right now, as far as I know, the whole deposit's gone. About 15 each remaining, 082793 is your item.